And another thing that got fucking publicity this past week was our friend Bo James uh, down in uh, Eastern Kentucky runs a promotion and one of his top, I guess his top heel now, at least as far as publicity is a uh, guy's name is Dan. I've met him a time or two. Of course, I've known Bo for ages. Uh, the progressive liberal. And everybody tweeted, what do you think of this, Jim Cornette, and blah, blah, blah. Here's the problem. He's a progressive. His name is the progressive liberal, and he cuts promos about how Hillary Clinton, and I understand he really is a Democrat. So that's, that's good for him. And he really does believe these things. But he cuts promos on how Hillary Clinton was so much better. And actually, you know, my God, Howie, the mailroom guy is better than Donald Trump, but and fuck Trump and blah, blah, blah. But he's a heel. He's a heel, especially to the audience. He's presented as a heel by the promotion. And he's a heel to the audience down in eastern Kentucky and over in West Virginia. And everybody asked what I thought about that. And to be honest, it, I, I appreciate the guy trying to get over. But un, here's my problem with it. He's presented as the heel. He's the baby face. He's telling you Donald Trump is full of shit and we should be doing these things to benefit people and to fucking make our country better and et cetera, et cetera. And the people are booing him. And that makes that reinforces the stereotype to me of all the people all across the country that don't see Appalachian mountain wrestling or whatever. <laughs> it reinforces the stereotype that all wrestling fans are a bunch of fucking inbred hillbilly dumb fucks that, that actually hate Democrats and progressive liberals and like Republicans and conservatives. And to be honest, because of the area of the country they're in, it's true. They are a bunch of dumb inbred hillbillies because they're, they're, they believe Trump and they boo the guy that's taking up for the fucking baby faces. So it's fucked up and it reinforces a stereotype as wrestling fans being inbred toothless hillbillies because they're helping reinforce that by their fucking ignorant fucking views. And I just, I, it's so fucked up. Brian, help me. I don't even know what to say about this. If he, I'd, I'd like the gimmick, if he was the baby face, because he said, yes, we should feed poor people and children and the elderly. Yes, we, we should fucking not goddamn do all the stupid shit Donald Trump wants us to do. And he's pre being presented as the heel. So it makes wrestling again look like the fucking Darwin's waiting room downstream from the nuclear plant. All the wrestling fans, they've got gills and fucking three eyeballs. You know, for many years, we had Nazi wrestlers and Russian wrestlers and really any country that America had a problem with other than the Vietnamese. I don't remember a good but Vietnamese that, tag. No, 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 we didn't have Vietnamese. Well, I mean, well Viet maybe, Express, I guess, in Calgary, but I'm yeah, not well, and maybe Pak Song Nam, he would have yeah. fit in. But the thing with, I, I didn't mind the Nazi heels because they were bad guys and the fuck, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But in, in your own country, this is not a foreign menace. This is a domestic menace. And the promotion, the, they have it backwards. They're presenting the baby face as the heel, and the heel is the baby face. And I, I don't care whether it's, whether it's because that's the part of the country that they're appealing to and they're appealing to their audience, but this is serious shit. And we should be trying to educate these poor fucking illiterate, uneducated people as to what the fuck's going on so we wouldn't get people voting for Donald Trump. All the time, but nobody, they, should we write these people off as fucking useless and unreachable and whatever the fuck, because are they uneducable? Can we not sit them down and tell them, look at this just because you don't like black people. Obama wasn't a bad president just because you were raised in this environment doesn't mean that coal is the greatest industry in the world just because your parents told you all this shit. It's like religion. We've talked about it before. It's fucking child abuse. Telling innocent children these fairy tales and, and fucking their heads up for when they get older and they believe in this shit instead of the real world. <clears throat> the parents in these fucking country towns and these southern towns and everything, 
they they foster this belief because they raise the kids like this. But isn't there at some point we have to educate these people so that we never have a disaster again in this country like a fucking con man, shyster, fraud, like Donald Trump being elected president of the United States because so many of the people in this country are fucking stupid. What do we do? Well, that's kind of where I was going when I said we've had the well, Russians. Well, go there then. We've had the Russians and the Japanese and everything else, but again, that's a foreign adversary. If you were going to go yes. into Kentucky, I mean, that's the audience in that part of Kentucky. Yeah, well, basically the state of Kentucky is two blue dots, Louisville and Lexington. It's the big cities. It's where the major colleges are. That's where people are a little bit more educated. I'm saying I don't mean to talk down to you fucking people, but goddamn. If you don't want people to talk down about you, then fucking reach up. We'll give you a hand. We'll pull you up. But Kentucky is a sea of red, a bunch of hillbillies and backwoods fucking coal miners and farmers, uneducated, don't keep up with what the fuck's going on, believe the same shit that they've believed for the past 100 years is going to fucking work. And then amazingly, you have... Two blue dots, Louisville and Lexington, University of Kentucky, University of Louisville, major cities, educated people, people that have moved in from other parts of the country, changed the fucking culture. And that's what you find across America. The more backwoods, the more rural, the more uneducated, the more low information voters, as they charitably call them on television, the more they vote Republican. And in the big cities, more educated people, more affluent people, brighter people, people of different cultures, they vote Democrat because they're smarter. And they realize that this fucking, these old white fucks like Mitch McConnell, turtle face, have been doing the same shit for fucking years because they're bought and paid for by the fucking drug companies and the oil companies and the big businesses and they're going to do the same shit they've, they've been doing, and they're not going to fucking do anything for any good for anybody else. And it's just frustrating. We're, we're in a bizarro world in wrestling, and now uh, our bizarro world that we live in for real every day is crossing over into the bizarro wrestling world. Baby faces are heels. Heels are baby faces. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody can tell a work from a shoot. Nobody can tell what's real and what's fake. 